to walking along with boulders, beautiful colors, green, red, brown. This is a section that we approach. Maybe, maybe the final approach to Alacor. But this final part towards the lake is really tough. And loose rocks everywhere. And very steep. It is a magnificent location for an alpine lake at uh, approximately 3,500 meters above sea level with a beautiful and majestic uh, mountains just above. I like the air, the way this lake is surprising because it has another part behind its ridge that we're gonna climb. Huh. And now we can see the path going up, 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 up to the pass in this magnificent glacier and little lake beneath it and this lovely slalom river flowing into the beautiful lake. I did it! This is the pass, this is amazing Alakol and the mountain is view all the ridges there on the back this is just amazing and it was really worth it and I cannot believe I almost haven't done it more and more and this is beyond the pass. It's amazing here. Where my hurry. And you see the clouds are building. And sometimes we're already here. this uh, kind of dreadful descent that everybody's talking about it's not so steep now but it's gonna be I guess and it's just the idea is to to stick the legs and just steadily go down the train started so I gotta do it quick. Now it's it's real steep, but we're just sliding, and it's fun. And it's fun. You just need to keep balance here, and that's crazy. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Almost done. All the way down. A little snow patch here. And the valley below is where the place with the hot springs. <laughs> I'll, wow, that was a long day. <laughs> that trek is definitely. Uh, how should I say woo? It's a woo track. <laughs> and I thought <laughs> I'll get to car call today. Well, not really. Ah, awesome. Awesome. Ah, down from the pass. the valley. On the right side you can see the trail that I took. That was quite uh, easy with lots of support to the legs but you can see these guys here are taking a very risky trail through this very very steep part. Although here it's maybe better but and uh, I tried I tried to point to them, but they didn't see me. 
Okay, after the challenging part is behind us, the way now leads to Altin Arashan. And as we descend, the slopes become more and more green. And we see more flowers. You can see some pastures with cattle already. Back to civilization. So we reached the cattle level. It's important not to forget to look back when we are going down. And that's a lovely sight. Hello sheep! Adin? Atguda? Where is everybody? You came alone? There, but according to the map, the trail goes the other way. So we need to cross. No, I really hope I haven't crossed it for nothing. Woo! Well, no convenient way on the other side, so lucky we crossed and we are into the forest, the pine trees, and soon we will arrive in the main valley. With so many cattle ways, it's easier when you go down because everything converges and you get to the rivers but when you go up this might be confusing you ask yourself should I take this or this or this and it's just a waste of time this direction coming from Alakol um, down to uh, Atina Ashan is the most more recommended way Altinarashan, here we come. 